But uh, Steve made big three and three big announcements, but no Half-Life 3. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> <sighs> At this point, you know, if I were Valve, Half-Life 3 would have to be one of those things that you announce and literally uh, something absolutely magnificent, you know. It mm -hmm. has to be, and this like wasn't Duke magnificent. Nukem. So, what was your example, Nate? Like Duke Nukem. But Duke Nukem Forever was bad. Large Leaf Forest, a big bug problem. <laughs> oh, hey, we have ambience instead of regular music. All right, Mips, what do you have to say? I'm assuming you're not a bad guy. Okay. Punching does nothing. Tracking down giant tree-eating wigglers. Your help would sure be appreciated. Oh, there is music. Okay. I thought it was just ambience. The music is really light. This is Yoshi's Island. Mm-hmm. Hooray! The jungle theme, actually. But no, when I first entered this level, I thought it was just going to be the outdoor ambience in uh, <laughs> this level. I'm like, okay, outdoor ambience level. <laughs> oh, hello, Mario. What are you pushing? Okay. I don't know what I'm doing, obviously. I'm just trying to find a wiggler. There's a giant tree. This might as well be the great deco tree with how big it is. <laughs> oh, hey, Babam. I don't think you're a bad guy like that thing. <laughs> I know about one that used to be at the bottom of the lake. Okay. Well, that's a hint. Bottom of the lake. Ah, this stupid zap thing. The treetops. Okay. Also, flat tree texture. <laughs> oh yeah. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, I think I need to take a long, longer look at this level to figure out everything, because I am not making it anywhere near that tree. <laughs> Alright. There appears to be stuff over here, but let's first go to here. Let's not break this box. As much as you probably want me to break it, Higsby. No. Hey, there's a Wiggler! <laughs> Yay! Found the Wiggler! Found the Wiggler! Let's kill him. Kill him. I don't even care if he's a good guy. Ah! Ouch. I need more food! There we go. One more hit should do it. Stop it, or I'll make you stop. Whoa! Holy crap. <laughs> there we go. Have this. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> well, that... In the original game, Mario 64, you defeat Wiggler, and then he shrinks down to size, and then he falls to the gate, grate, and dies. I know! <laughs> it's so sad. Here, it's just like, evil Wiggler, and then you kill him, and he's like, well, he's an evil Wiggler, so why? I don't feel Someone bad for Someone will probably him. step on him in the grass, so... Alright, so I think I have to go to the treetops in this one. Well, once again, I gotta comment. It's really crap, these <laughs> tree textures. <laughs> So as a point of discussion, Nate, have you ever played Mario 64? I've partially played it. Partially played it. I didn't get very far, but... Okay. It's like Super Mario Sunshine, I got a little a little bit in there, but I didn't finish it. Ah, that's actually another point of discussion. Mario Sunshine, I have gotten 100... Oh, I can go inside the tree. 119 shines in Mario Sunshine, and I was missing one blue coin. Somewhere in Noki Bay. I do not know where, but I lost the save file, so I'll never know. Oh. <laughs> How did you lose it? I don't know, actually. Memory card that I no longer use anymore would be my guess. Mm. But no, I have never 100% at Mario Sunshine. I was off by one blue coin. That's the nice thing with the Wii is that they have that GameCube capability with it, too. Yes. 
I only got one game. I only got one GameCube game, but it's cool anyway. And why Yoshi speculates the blue coin I missed was in the middle of nowhere? Was it in the regular Noki Bay section, or would it be the uh, the underwater section with all the Nokis and the eel that you have to clean his teeth? That makes a difference. The regular one. Okay. Aha. All right. Oh, hey, there's a vine over here, if I can see it. I wonder what happens when I grab that vine. Do I get a mushroom? Let's find out, guys. <laughs> Aw, I don't think this is anything. Hmm. All right, I don't feel like falling right now, so I'm just gonna load state. <laughs> All right, JD Aster 64 what did you miss? Well, um, to borrow a joke from someone else, we have uh, cured cancer. Um, and uh, we've made first contact, so you've missed a lot. <laughs> but in actuality, uh, you missed me defeating Wiggler. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario, climb! No! Darn. Mario, climb. Let me first get rid of this Chuck, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Alright. So if I can't yeah, climb, that's... you wanna know what? Triple jump. Oh no. Here we go. There! Haha, it only took two tries and there's even a music note block up here. <laughs> now, I am not gonna take the music note block because I can't control that damn thing. I'm instead going to go up here, which this is just nothing but coins. Okay. Well, we'll be back here when we get our 100 coins, but for now, this is just a red coin. Okie dokie dokie. I probably have to go this way. There's a giant honeycomb over here. <laughs> hey, it's Banjo Kazooie! There. Now we can actually make a Banjo Kazooie reference. <laughs> Do I have to go inside the honeycomb, or can I... I'm trying. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. What nope. is that? Is that like a door right there? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. That's what I'm thinking, but I want to go inside the honeycomb. There. I triple jumped. <laughs> Goomba! Okay, there we go. We made it up top of the honeycomb. And I think we are almost to the top of the tree. We'll get our star that is up here. Yes! Yes! To get our to get our star and our frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a little Adventure Time reference. Mario, please don't be like my uncle and fall out of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, next stream I will be streaming next week, but the week after I will not. Um, I am going to have to ask my uncle more about his tree story, and if it turns out something that I can make make a punchline out of all, I'll tell it. If not, I'll be like, the story wasn't funny, guys. You actually got hurt. I know he's okay. He's okay. Just... If he wasn't okay, I wouldn't have told the story in the first place. <laughs> anyway, what star was this? Quick Lily Pad Hop? Okay, I might be going in the totally wrong direction under the tree. What am I doing? I know what I'm doing. I am going here so I can survey the level. Quick lily pad hop. Hmm. There's a river over there. Okay, now I know where I'm going. Oh. This looks like a Koopa the Quick Path. Uh-oh. Thank you, Chuck, if you chuck me the right way. That wasn't really the right way. <laughs> Alright. To the lily pads we go. See, I just flat out went the wrong direction when I started the level. How about that? Okay. <laughs> well, there we go. Oh, these sink. Okay. Now I understand the challenge. Whoa. Can I jump onto them? Do I even have to do any of the platforming? Alright, now how do we get the star? Quick lily pad. I guess the point is you're supposed to do a triple jump across all three of them? Hmm. Something like that. 
I could do a double jump here, and then when I land on the third one, triple jump. That's worth a try. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's get ourselves some... Moon jump? <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Let's try that again. Oh, triple jump did not make it. Unless I kick in midair, I did not kick in midair, so... Dude, dude, nope. Guys, quit recommending Moon Jump, you're a bad influence. <laughs> I was thinking it, but I didn't say anything. Oh, close. Let's look at the stump at the beginning of the level. Okay. The stump at the beginning of the level. Okay. This might make platforms appear, and then I'm on a timer, and it's like, oh gosh, I'm on a timer. I'm not getting all of the messages in the chat. Like, I'm comparing my chat um, to, like, the, the chat that I see in the stream, and I'm missing <laughs> some messages. Wow. It's just a chat room. It's significantly <laughs> less complicated than... Like, I've had no problems video. with the stream, but I'm, like, missing one out of every five messages. Really? Wow. Well, I'm happy I'm streaming chat, so if your messages don't appear, guys... Uh, you sure, you're sure it's not the leg? No, 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 definitely. Like, there's... Like, someone's message will be missing in between two other messages that I can see. Like, it's really bizarre. Oh yeah, I see that too. Yeah, like, the question of, is this blind is missing? Oh. Yeah. Is this, for, is this, uh, um... Run blind, Miles? Yes, yes it is. Or is. I have not played this game before. All I did before I started playing it is I did like a little bit in the first course in Mushroom Mountain Town. And that's it. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I'm trying not to land in the water because water clip takes up so much time. Why she says a ground pound probably would have worked after your triple jump. Just do that! <laughs> a ground pound triple jump. Okay. Let's do it. Sure, that'll just get me just enough height, huh? Well, it's worth a try, <laughs> right? Yeah. Right, position myself well. Save states. I need to be aiming at the platform first. All right, there we go. Nope. I got the triple jump off. If you heard Mario. I need more running room, so... Hey, Mario. There we go. Jump. Safe stage. Back up. Using the kicks. Okay. We're set up, guys. Here we go. <laughs> nope. I need to land on the little flower paddle, so this isn't gonna work. Got it! Yes! I cheated the star! Yes! <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, Wayoshi. When you ground pound, your hitbox increases very so very slightly, which enabled Mario to get that star. And there it is. We're going into the beehive, guys. Woo! No bee suit at all. I just went through that lock. They don't have the bee suit in this game, do they? Nope. No. That is a Mario Galaxy thing. Ah. Uh. On the topic of Mario Galaxy, I have 100%ed uh, Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. 100%ed both of them. I could not bring myself to replay Mario Galaxy 1 with Luigi. I was like, nope, there are things that deserve my time more than this. And yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, Mario Galaxy I have, 1 to really... I have, oh, I have played name. Galaxy. I've played Galaxy, I got a good part into it. Fun game. Mm -hmm. No, it's the worst 3D Mario game made. Ew. The saying Mario Galaxy makes me need to go use Listerine or something. Uh, get liquid yeah. bubblegum juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like saying Sonic with Sonic 2006. I still pick that game up like once a year and just be like, oh, maybe it's not as bad as I remember it, but it's, it's still as bad as I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think differently each year then? I really, really want to like it because I love Adventure 1 and 2 and it's very similar, except it's full of glitches and it's, it's impossible to play. And it takes like three hours of loading every time you go to a new screen. <laughs> wow, this was an easy start. 
<laughs> Just imagine if I was playing Super Mario 64 Star Road. I got the star, but now instead of you know, coming on the painting, it would say now loading for 10, 20 seconds. Then I'd come out of the treasure and it'd be like, yay, I made it. And then I'd go into the course and now it says now loading for another 20 seconds. Honest? You, you, you have no idea. There'll be people that you need to talk to for like mini missions. So oh, you'll, yeah. you'll, press, you'll press the button in front of them to talk to them. It will load for about 30 seconds. <laughs> It will, it will bring you back to the person, they'll say two or three lines of dialogue, and then it will load for another 30 <laughs> seconds before you start the mission. And then you fail and the mission. And then, and then, then every time you fail or anything, it's another 30 seconds, like, it's really bad. Like, you I've have to play it, just to know how bad it is. I've seen an LP of it. On the LP archive, and they even have a timing of all the total load time and play time of it. <laughs> I believe their play time, compared to their load time, like 20% of the Let's Play was loading. Yeah. It was something like that? Yeah. They even have a 2D version of Sonic 2006. Of a hack. A hack of hmm. Sonic 2000? Oh, you mean the fan game that's the 2D version of Sonic 2006? Yeah. Okay. I do know what you're talking about. And it's kind of funny, that fan game itself is actually not that bad. <laughs> that's because it doesn't have the loading times. Or really crappy 3D controls. I have like four Sonic games, one on my old Neo Geo and then not three on Steam. Ouch. Ouch. Alright, so before we climb the tree, let's uh, do some adventuring over here. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't think I've talked to this bunny. Hi, Mips' brother. Gee, that star must be pretty far off. I would have done that to an ordinary week. Oh, you're the little guy from earlier. Okay. You know, do you remember before Sonic 2006 came out? Is this is supposed to be like revitalized Sonic, no more crappy games. Look, Mario saves a prin- or not Mario, Sonic saves a princess. Dr. Eggman looks completely different. Actually, I thought Sonic 06 was when it started going downhill. I mean, I w I, Sonic Heroes came out not too long before that, and uh, I think there was debate between whether people enjoyed that or not. Sonic Heroes was okay. I know there's some people who really like it, some people who really hate it. But then I thought Sonic 06 was where it really started to get bad. And then after that you had the storybook series with, you know, Secret Rings and Black Knight. And then you have, you know, all the other games which were Colors, so Generations, which I have. And then the episodic one, which I got episode one of that one. And those are good. Um, before, uh... I'm gonna try to get this if I can. I cannot. Okay. Uh, before Sonic 06, there was Shadow the Hedgehog, but that game. Oh was yeah, that's crap. true. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah, I got Sonic 4 Episode 1 and uh, CD, which I have yet to play yet. You need to play Sonic CD right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some people call it the best Sonic game. I think it's fun, yeah. but I don't see what makes it the best. I bought it on like Steam, one of the Steam sales. Which today's is actually, uh, Spidey and Isaac is like a dollar on Steam today. Oh, nice. I actually yeah. have it on Sega CD. I didn't even think about the Steam version. <laughs> yeah. I have Sonic it's CD a... on Sega CD too. Nice. Yeah, it's a brand, kind of a new, changed version of CD. Newer graphics and that. Hmm. And apparently, apparently they, they changed some of the, uh, physics of it. I saw an LP of the, uh, CD version, which is probably on an emulator. They were talking about the... You didn't get that red for... point, I don't think, did you? I did. It made the red point sound. Okay. I can't hear. I thought for some reason I saw something still there when you swam past it. Oh well. Might have been the number. Yeah, I never had a CD. I had, uh... I still have my SNES, which I bought off someone, and I got my N64, which I have two sports games that are okay. Hmm. <laughs> Which sports and, games like, would these be? A NASCAR one, a baseball one, and then 1080 snowboarding. So this isn't like Madden 94 and 95, huh? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello, but I, I, I bought it when it was going out of, you know, out of... It was going obsolete. Then I got my one GameCube game, which is Mario Golf. <laughs> Mario Golf Toadstool Store. I'm gonna save state before we get down I, here. I actually have it because I got the Game Boy version of it. And, it's, and I have the link cable to link it. Oh, cool. Where am I going? Oh, a star. Okay, now I know where the next star is. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. 
Which part? No, just the fact that I just decided to swim down a tree chunk and find a star. <laughs> yeah, so I still I still the fact with the new um, 2DS that they're coming out with is that fact it doesn't fold. So I, yeah. I saw I saw my DS Lite and I'm like waiting for I was waiting for one like that that was like a foldable. But I guess that's what they want to do and they want to look make it look like a tablet. Possibly that's actually an interesting theory. I haven't thought yeah. about it from that point of view. I just the main thing that I catches my eye with the 2DS is that hey it's a basically a 3DS with all the 3D gimmick. Yeah. Whoa. I just have. I just haven't upgraded yet because I don't like the battery life compared to the, uh, you know, DS Lite and that. Uh, Chuckya, please throw me onto the platform. No! Okay, I'm gonna kill Chuckya before I press that switch. <laughs> Chuckyas have been a big problem this playthrough. <laughs> mm hmm. They are just annoying. Ah, I fell down the tree. Since I killed Chuckya, though, I'm not gonna load state. I'm just gonna climb back up. Gotta take the fungus elevator up, huh? Yeah, I can easily make that uh, tablet comparison because I do have a tablet and I like it. I got the uh, Google Where Nexus. And why is there another Chuckya? Did the Chuckya respawn? Please, the god, don't tell me the Chuckya respawned. <laughs> I'm gonna go up this way. I did it again. <laughs> How dare you respawn, Chakya? Oh my gosh. I guess wow. like those old, it's like those old um, Mario physics where you go, you get the screen, get it off the screen, and it comes back. <laughs> it doesn't usually happen in Mario 64. But. Is this this Chucky is on a different platform. Okay, that makes a whole lot more sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Okay, I thought Chucky respawned. And I'm like, ah, why do you respawn, Chucky? You're the worst enemy. <laughs> nice. Okay, now, finally. Uh, but provided I don't fall through the tree again. Okay, good. I thought I saved stated just as I started falling down the tree. Okay. Blue coins ago! Go. Six more to go, and I saw a red coin down here, and I think Lakitu is clipping through the tree. Whoa. <laughs> I'm in a loop. Okay, I got out of the loop. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not the only one who had a sister that did that to me. Oh no, I've never, luckily, I've luckily never had that. <laughs> I was just... Yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Also, my choice. chat is really broken. Is chat just broken altogether? I'm now getting about one in five messages rather than missing one out of five. We should play Super Mario 64, the broken chat. Oh, I could use those <laughs> coins. I'm up to 99. 100. Like, the last thing I have in my chat is when Yo is, uh, when Yoshi said eviler. How far and now I just that? got... Here we go! Like... <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Maybe it's the program that Miles is using for the chat on his stream thing. Using now Mortarizer said why yes it is broken, but that didn't even appear in the chat that's on the stream. <laughs> Do we need to get a technical <laughs> consultant from Twitch into this stream? No, I am using Open Broadcaster to stream. The chat, I actually am using the Twitch dashboard light, which has a uh, chat thing. I'm just viewing the chat using that. Huh. Here we go. We just have to get the rest of the red coins now. <laughs> How does this kind of thing even happen? <laughs> oh man. Oh, this is the broken mine, that's right. Alright. Oh. 
And there's this thing. There's a red coin up there. Why, Yoshi? If you said anything after actually wait, no one can see it. <laughs> Just in case. I can see actually wait, so we're good. If we need to actually wait. Just imagine me putting on the elevator music right now. <laughs> Stream, we'll be right back. Something like that. Oh, I missed. And that game I've been playing a little bit lately is a game called uh, Star Command. Check out with the new Humble Bundle for mobile. Hmm. It's, a fun, it's a fun game. Ooh. Buy what you pay for what you want and get some games. There you go. It's so the nice thing with this tablet I got, I can have a bunch of Android games. <laughs> Pretty addictive. No, that on a tablet they generally play a little bit better because you got a bigger screen and everything. Yeah. Now I'm gonna be. I thought I was gonna be blindly falling for this red coin. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. This works too. <laughs> I'll just Miles walk on Luigi's... the side of the honey honeycomb. <laughs> and Miles Luigi's chat is pretty broken too. He's missing like the last four messages now. So it's probably not just my thing. Oh, you just got one. Vine climbing for eight red coins. I do have a reload chat button I can press. If I press that, reload chat. Chat disappears. No more chat. It'll come back. Thinking ah. about that, thinking about that screen thing. Like I used to play Angry Birds on my uh, iTouch, and then I started playing it on my uh, on my tablet. I love it now. I'll be right back. All right. Okay. All right. So this should be an easy star then. <laughs> yep. I already have a general idea where it is. I need to keep going into the secret cave. So off to the side. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And there's our star. How about that? We, we beat the level. And there's course eight. All right, we have about 40 minutes, so I think that's enough time for one more course. Course nine. Mm -hmm. Course nine. Actually, this is 10. This yeah. will be next stream, probably, guys. Look forward to yeah, Snow I... World. So apparently...